Hello and happy day. How does slowing down sound to you today? Would you like to reduce the noise for just a bit? Are you ready to make a choice and decide to listen? My name is Igor S.F. Walker and I'm here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. This time from the quarantine, coronavirus edition. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today we look at time to think. Listening to Ignite the Human Mind by Nancy Klein. The quality of a person's attention determines the quality of other people's thinking. Everything we do depends on the thinking we do first. Our thinking depends on the quality of our attention for each other. Perhaps the most important thing we could do with our life, life and with our leadership is to listen to people so expertly, to give them attention so respectfully, they would begin to think for themselves, clearly in the fresh. One of the components of a thinking environment is equality. Another is listening with respect and without interruption. Another is removing limiting assumptions. Another is appreciation. This means that everyone at certain points, including at the beginning, has a turn to speak without interruption and with respectful attention from everyone else. The 10 components of a thinking environment are number one, attention, listening with respect, interest and fascination. Number two, incisive questions, removing assumptions that limit ideas. Number three, equality, treating of each other as thinking peers, giving equal turns and attention, keeping agreements and boundaries. Number four, appreciation, practicing a five to one ratio of appreciation to criticism. Number five, ease offering freedom from rush or urgency. Number six, encouragement, moving beyond competition. Number seven, feelings, allowing sufficient emotional release to restore thinking. Number eight, information, providing a full and accurate picture of reality. Number nine, place creating a physical environment that says back to people, you matter. And number 10, diversity, adding quality because of the differences between us. The best questions for thinking, if you really stop and notice, are not tense. They're gentle, they're quiet, they are unrushed. They're stimulating, but not competitive. They are encouraging. They're paradoxically both rigorous and nimble. Much of the quality of what you are hearing is your effect on them. Giving good attention to people makes them more intelligent. Poor attention makes them stumble over their own words and seem stupid. Your attention, your listening is that important. We think we listen, but we don't. We finish each other's sentences. We interrupt each other. We moan together. We fill in the pauses with our own stories. We look at our watches. We sigh. We frown. We tap our fingers. We read the newspaper or even walk away. We give advice, give advice, give advice. What do you already know that you are going to find out in a year? This question requires you to supply and face your own information. Ask it at the beginning of any relationship or enterprise or change. Diversity raises the intelligence of groups. Homogeneity is a form of denial. Diversity enhances thinking because it is true. The world is diverse, but because diversity, the differences between groups is still the excuse for discrimination, disempowerment, and even genocide. We have been thought to hate or to deny our differences rather than to welcome them. Our differences are real and they're good. And to think well about almost any topic, we need to be in as real and therefore as diverse a setting as possible. The mind works best in the presence of reality. It spontaneously scores for facts. Conversely, the mind seems to lose its edge when having to work in pretense, in denial, or fabrication. 
And homogeneity, when you think about it, is a form of denial. It is a form of pretense to say by your group composition that the world is all the same is a lie. Diversity, on the other hand, is the truth. It is a thinking enhancer because it frees the mind of the two sorts of limiting assumptions that the dominant group is superior and so everyone should be thinking like them that because the dominant group is superior it should have power over others come on we know better let's be better let's do better and let's have better as well please do help out. It is easy. Simply like this video so more people can enjoy it. Share it too and spread the word. Subscribe to my channel and stay up to date. And the link to this book is in the description below. So buy it and read. Never stop learning. Especially while in the quarantine. Thank you. Love and respect.